Welcome back. Move over Aflac Duck and Geico Gecko. Liberty Mutual has a new advertising campaign focusing on an emu. The company is utilizing old school techniques like jingles along with a message of customized insurance to lead its new campaign. And joining us right now is the new chief marketing officer at Liberty Mutual, Emily Fink. Emily, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for having so me. so much for joining us. Why an emu? Well, you know, for us, when we were developing the campaign, we really started with what is it that the customer wants? And so we talked to consumers a lot about what they're looking for in, um, in insurance, and they told us, you know, it's kind of a black box. So sometimes we're afraid we have too much coverage. Sometimes we're worried we don't have enough and there are loopholes. So really the, the foundation of the advertisement is all about customizing coverage so people are only paying for what they need. And the emu is all about how do we bring it to life in a way that's fun? <laughs> yeah, <it's> fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've seen the ads and yeah. they're hilarious. They're absolutely hilarious. So I was watching the, the ad. That's why yeah. I laughed out loud. Uh, they're the, really humor terrific. is a first for us too. Yeah. So we we look at what kinds of things actually drive advertising effectiveness, and we see the ads that are funny tend to be remembered more. And so we introduced humor into our, our old campaign, Truth Tellers, the one with the person talking about uh, insurance in front of the Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. and we saw that it was effective. So we're trying it again with Limu and Doug. It's, it's interesting, the insurance industry seems to be much more creative than others when it, when it comes yeah. to advertising. And it's a real competitive situation. You look at the Geico, Gecko, and, yeah. and, and Aflac. It is. I mean, it's a very cluttered category. Advertisers are spending about $7 billion on TV. So you really need to break through. And the other dynamic is the product is invisible. So there's no can of soup or box right, of cereal. Exactly. There's nothing to show. Nothing so, tangible, yes. Right. So it's like if you want to bring the company to life and you want people to remember who the advertisement is actually from, that's where characters and jingles come in. I'm curious, as you all are <laughs> developing the ads yeah. and the marketing campaigns, how do you gauge its effectiveness? How do you know that you're going in the right direction? Yeah. So we look at a lot of data. We do a ton of consumer testing, qualitative and quantitative. And there are two main metrics that we look at. We say, um, does it have ad recall? So will people remember the ad yeah and then does it have brand linkage will they remember that it's from us and that's the part that's really hard in a category that's largely invisible well so, we're all yeah. singing the jingle in our, our head this yeah. morning so I think it's working Emily great to have you thank you so much for having me Emily thank you.